Hello students, welcome to Gyan Niketan Girls School. In this session, I am going to tell you the summary of Unit 6, Feathered Friend, written by Sir Arthur Charles Clerk. Before I start the summary, let me introduce you to its author. Children, Sir Arthur Charles Clerk was a British science fiction writer, science writer, inventor, undersea explorer and television series host. He is famous for being co-writer of the screenplay for the 1968 film 2001 A Space Odyssey. He was both an avid popularizer of space travel and a futurist of uncanny ability. On these subjects, he wrote over a dozen books and many essays which appeared in various magazines. He was rightly called the prophet of the space age. Now children, let's come to the summary. Feathered Friend As the title suggests, Feathered Friend, the story is all about a bird, a canary bird, which is a very small bird, yellow colored, lightweight bird. Here in this fiction, its name is Claribel. First, this word was taken as an uninvited an unauthorized guest to a space station. But later, this bird proved to be a friend to all the crew members present there because it saved the life of all the crew members from an impending disaster. Now children, let's see the main characters of this fiction. Sivan Olsen he was at first thought as a 6 foot 6 inch Nordic giant. Now children, what is Nordic giant? From Northern European countries. He belonged to Northern European countries like Denmark, Finland, Iceland and Norway. He was a construction worker in space. But he was thin and strong. Second character is Claribel. Claribel is the name of the bird, a very small yellow colored bird with a very light weight. The third character is the narrator himself. He was a worker on the space station. And the fourth character is Jock Duncan. He was a cook, doctor and dietitian on the space station station. Now children, the narrator says that he is unaware of a regulation that prevents pets from being on a space station and that Sivan would ignore it anyway. Sivan was the best space construction worker on the space station at the time and was a very little fellow. He was weak he was uh, thin and strong, which got him a bonus for being under 150 pounds. Unlike his earthbound counterpart, Sivan could step back and look at his work without fear of falling off the building. Sivan was smart to have Claribel as a pet. It belonged the Claribel pet, canary bird, whose name was Claribel, belonged to Sivan. So Sivan was a smart to have Claribel as a pet because it took close to nothing to support her. The author found Claribel after hitting his head on an angle beam. He saw Claribel for the first time although he had been hearing her. Claribel, the canary, 
found out how to make her way in zero gravity and was efficient at it. Sivan did not own up to her being his pet at first, but did bring her up from a ferry from earth after leave. Sivan then said that he had brought her from earth as a science experiment. As he had brought it as unauthorized. They didn't have any trouble hiding her from VIPs from earth as they always had explanation for the noises that she made even when Claribel was upset. The narrator woke up one day with a headache and was slow to do morning activities. On the space station, Sivan was missing from breakfast because he was looking for Claribel. Claribel was found in a stunned state and Jock Tucken could not hear a heartbeat. It was unconscious. The bird was unconscious. Someone said to give her some oxygen from an oxygen face mask which served as an oxygen tent for Claribel. The oxygen revived Claribel and she called everyone to breakfast but passed out again. The narrator notices that Claribel was passing out because of the air being bad. An air purifier had frozen and the single $500,000 alarm failed to go off. Claribel had saved everyone's life. At the end, they found that the air purifier had frozen up because there was one of the rare eclipses by the Earth's shadow that night. But the little tiny bird saved everyone's life. Nobody, children, nobody can assume that a bird can help in a space station. Yes, it happened. So children, later this bird proved to be a friend to all the crew members present there as it had saved the life of all the crew members from an impending disaster. So children, that's all. In my next video, I'll be giving you all question answers.